Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, uh, we are talking about the isosceles triangle. If I had a favorite triangle, which I do, this would be the one, and it is. Um, if you don't know how to spell isosceles, it's a tricky word. Um, I remember it by just saying isosceles. It's a much uh, funner word to say isosceles, and then of course it kind of lets you know how to spell it if you already had a general idea. So. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with at least two congruent sides. So let's say in this triangle, this side has a length of two feet. Oh, we'll just say two units, and I'm not gonna bother labeling it because it takes up space. And we'll say this has a length of two, and this has a length of three units. Therefore, this triangle is isosceles, or isosceles, as uh, you, you might be saying now. I know it's cheesy, it's terrible, I'll stop. So two, those two sides are congruent, therefore it is isosceles because it's a triangle with at least two congruent sides. So we get two congruent sides here, so it's isosceles. But of course, you notice I say at least, so that means that the equilateral triangle, let's say this is one, with units, uh, side lengths of one unit, one unit, and one unit, this is a special case of isosceles triangle where all three sides are congruent. Um, and then, of course, it's therefore an equilateral triangle, but it is also an isosceles triangle. There's lots of cool properties about isosceles triangles, which I'm sure I'll get to eventually, uh, but I hope this cleared up what isosceles triangles are and how to spell it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, if there's any other videos you'd like to see, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all.